Tim Geithner, Bernanke, they're arsonists. They're asking for more matches. And the Congress is saying, who do we make the check out to? Today, it seems like nobody does care. And right now in Washington, D.C., we have seen a fall of the republic. Get your copy of Fall of the Republic on DVD at Infowars.com or watch it online right now in super high quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM Radio Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. The TSA's abuses are now one of the biggest news stories. It's in the top three or four in the world. Now Atlantic Monthly's gotten on board. Hundreds of big publications. Their writers, New York Times, Wall Street Journal, Atlantic Monthly, CNET News, CBS News, are talking about the abuse they've gone through. The Atlantic's Jeffrey Goldberg, who's super, you know, high-powered reporter, he interviewed them, and I guess they thought off record. And they they have a special name for the naked body scanner. I can't say it on air, but it's the male member measurement system. But I, I won't say it. Uh, and it's, uh, they admit it's all a big joke around there. They, they, that's coming up. Kaiser wants to mention that. I was asking during the break, I said, what do you want to talk about? And he said, well, I want to talk about the big win on TSA, how we're exposing them. So that's coming up. But, but Max of MaxKaiser.com continuing here with what we were discussing. It's all happening. The bankers that engineered the collapse are taking over the world. People are angry at them. Uh, you've got all these other Chinese government and Brazilian government and the, the German government saying this is horrible. I mean, is that all a bunch of talk? Are they in, involved in it? Or is this a real revolt against uh, the world reserve currency being devalued? Well, a couple of things. First of all, my, the, Robert Zolich, uh, his gold comments, that was a part of a big op-ed piece in the Wall Street Journal. And the whistleblower in London, his name is Andrew McGuire. And uh, after he's on my show, Alec, Alex, I think I think he should be on your show if that's if you think that's a good idea. Yeah, let's get him. We've been trying. All right. Um, so basically, to get back to the uh, financial picture, uh, you know, a, a theme that we again talked about on your show in the past, which is now mainstream media terminology, is currency war. So what does currency war mean? Uh, currency war means that the U.S is purposefully trying to crash the U.S. dollar because they believe it's going to force the exports from other countries' price to go higher, and they're going to try to make America's exports more competitive by deliberately crashing the dollar. And what's happening is that these other countries, like China and Germany in particular, are saying, uh, no, we don't want to be a part of this. We don't want to subsidize your uh, manufacturing base and your wars, because you know uh, all the all that war money is subsidized with U.S. dollars, and these countries are saying, "Wait a minute, you want us to subsidize your wars?" No, we don't think that's a good idea. So now these countries, for the first time in the in the post uh, dollar reserve currency era, are doing these huge currency swaps back and forth with each other. So Brazil and China and Russia are swapping each other's currency so that they all have huge. Uh, stockpiles of each other's currencies in their banks so they can do trade deals and do them in a way that's currency neutral because they all have a big piece of each other's currency. But they, they don't want any more dollars. The dollar has become a pariah currency. But the currency wars continue, and the U.S., every time they launch a QE1, QE2, and you know QE3, it's an attempt by the U.S. to purposefully crash their own currency to boost exports. That's the theory. Uh, and it's and it's an absurd theory. It's suicide. It's financial suicide, and it's uh, you know monetization assisted suicide because nobody else around the world is buying this story anymore, and it's causing, uh, of course, the big winner in this circular firing squad is gold. You know, people are saying, wait a minute, this you guys are out of control. The only thing that makes any sense is gold and silver, and so that's why gold and silver is up against every currency. Uh, now it's making a move against the euro because, you know, the euro was relatively strong for the past few months. Now gold and silver are making big moves against the euro. So nothing is safe from the advances of the gold vigilantes 
and and the currency war, which is World War III, if you want to think about it. It's, it's being fought in the currency pits. They're lobbing these huge derivative cannons at each other, loaded with fiat currency. And it, they, America, again, stupidly is spending the hundreds of billions fighting ground wars with tanks and weapons and, and military, and yet that's yesterday's war. They're looking in the rearview mirror. The, today's war is the currency war, and of course the U.S. is least prepared to win in the currency war, obviously because their economy is shrinking the fastest and their export market is pitiful. All right, pitiful. Max, we got a break. Let's talk about where you see all this going, how you see it unfolding, what this is going to do to the average person on the ground, all of that coming up. We'll look at the TSA situation, that big revolt happening. We'll look at Glenn Beck talking about government-sponsored terror. It's all coming up. This is Alex Jones with five good reasons you should consider buying a solar power generator. Number one, new climate legislation could easily double or triple your electric bill. Number two, our new energy czar wants to control how much power your electric company allows you to have. It's true. Total government control of electricity in the name of smart grid technology is coming. Number three, in some areas of the country, the power grid is dangerously overloaded. And now new socialist legislation is only compounding the problem. Number four, dangerous weather is always a threat to local grids. Every year, thousands of families lose their power from weather-related outages. Number five, a solar power generator provides powerful backup insurance and peace of mind. Folks, I really believe in the solar power generators offered by Solutions from Science, one of my oldest sponsors. You can get more information at www.mysolarbackup.com. That's mysolarbackup.com. Remember, the government doesn't own the sun, so go to mysolarbackup.com or call 1-877-327-0365. Hi folks, this is Alex Jones asking you for a minute of your time to tell you about soap. Not detergents, but good old-fashioned pure soap made by the Cal Ben Soap Company, a family-owned and operated American company. My family, staff, friends, and radio listeners are constantly telling me how much they love these products for bath, hair, laundry, and dishes. There is nothing like these factory direct, big money saving, triple concentrated soaps anywhere. Get a free detailed catalog by calling 800-340-7091 or see them online at 5starsoap.com or infowars.com. Let's talk to the owner of 5 Star Soap, Marty Schachter, and see what he has to say. As founder and owner for over 63 years, people keep asking me, how's business? I'm happy to say our business is going down the drain. Call us at one 800 340-7091 visit our website 5starsoap.com for buying a 1 to 2 month soap sampler thank you let me tell you a little bit about one of our great sponsors homegain.com this is the place to get you started buying or selling a home finding a realtor and getting any real estate questions answered go to homegain.com and see what I'm talking about all you need to do is type in your home address and you will get an instant free estimate of your home's value online. This is a great way to be able to monitor the value of your home. And again, it's absolutely free. There are tons of tools to help you. For instance, if you want to remodel your home, go to HomeGain.com. Use their Home Sale Maximizer to help you determine which home improvements can most increase your home's value before you put it on the market. For 10 years, these folks have been helping home sellers and buyers. Visit their link at InfoWars.com. Look for Max, the orange home gain gorilla, to help you with any real estate needs you might have. You'll love this site. It's homegain.com. H-O-M-E-G-A-I-N.com. Check them out today. From his Central Texas Command Center, deep behind enemy lines, the information war continues. It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. This is a war. A financial takeover, a Ponzi scheme empire. The globalists don't care if you know who they are now. They've got paramilitary, secret police in every Western nation. They are taking over the planet. They think they're going to get away with this crime. And all of you listening, whether you're a fireman, a cop, a teacher, a bureaucrat, or somebody who even works for the system, you are going to lose your standard of living. You are going to lose your liberties and your freedoms in this process. You should make the decision to join the American people and the people of the world against the globalists. Now, we were talking with Max Kaiser, inventor of uh, many of these stock exchange systems, the Hollywood Stock Exchange System, uh, talk show host, TV host, made a lot of accurate predictions, breaking down where this is going. How do you see this unfolding, Max? Where do you see this going? Because now we're clearly in the thick of it. Uh, I mean, do you see the bankers getting away with this? 
Yeah, I do. Because, um, yeah, you remember at the end of 2008, Hank Paulson wanted to get $750 billion to bail out his old company, uh, Goldman Sachs, and his friends in various banks around the world. So he submitted to Congress a one-page memo saying, give me, you know, three-quarters of a trillion dollars. Uh, they said, no, we need more information. He instructed his algorithmic traders and program traders to crash the market the next day. The market crashed. Then he went back and said, see, if you don't give me my money, uh, you're all going to be losing all of your money. And, the, you're gonna, and apparently there was a rumor that the Congress was threatened even with martial law by these guys. So they do. Yeah, that's not a rumor. I've had the congressman on. It's now been admitted. Go ahead. Okay. So then they signed off on that giveaway. So they, they now got, uh, they know that they can go to Congress and put a gun to their head and get any bailout money they want. So uh, they can scare people to death and get whatever they want. There's no rule of law. There's no checks and balances. There's, there's absolutely, there's no rules governing these bankers anymore. And if they are, if they do stumble over a law that they break, they either get Congress to pass a new law. Or, or they just ignore it, and they know that they may have to pay a small civil fine. So as, when push comes to shove, when the debt burden becomes such, and the dollar is not responding to either the monetiz- the flood of money vis-a-vis inflation, or it's not the, the austerity measures are causing too much social unrest, they'll go to Congress and say either, you let, let us roll the U.S. dollar into a global currency right now, or, you know, you're all going to be uh, facing, uh, you know, civil unrest in Armageddon. So they'll threaten the Congress, as they've done successfully now several times. They, this is a tried-and-true technique to simply threaten the Congress. And the, th- and the Congress will uh, acquiesce, and the U.S. dollar will be rolled up, uh, like the euro was created, into a global currency. And America will be breathe a sigh of relief because... Uh, the dollar purchasing power of the new global currency as it relates to individuals in America will be roughly the same as the dollar. And they'll be, oh, we averted a disaster. But in part of this scenario is, of course, is that the U.S. has to has to give away its sovereignty. It's and we've got to pay taxes to this new IMF, World Bank, purely private consortium. And this is their plan. They are doing it. And it gives them total control over our society. They'll run the stock market up again for a little while. So all the dumb yuppies will fall down on their knees worshiping it. Uh, and then our journey towards enslavement is that much more complete. I mean, uh, but people have right, got to so get ahead pay, of this now. They, we've got to expose this now. Right. You, you'll pay local tax, uh, state tax, national tax, and world tax. Uh, that's true. And the tax burden will be immense. And, of course, people will continue to uh, – their debt burden will not be addressed. And, and they'll continue to carry these huge debts. And the, and the servicing of those debts will continue to cut into their uh, income, and the jobs will continue to uh, disappear. So we're heading toward, of course, what I've been talking about, the Gulag Casino model. And being a, and this is part of the Gulag Casino model, is to uh, keep the debts on the books in perpetuity. And, and this rolling over of, to a global currency, it gets rid of to the, the, you know, you hear a lot of debate whether we're in inflation or deflation, whether we should stimulate or there should be austerity. Well, the answer is to go down the middle and just say, let's roll all, this, all these debts based in dollars into a new global currency. Well, just as we've done for the past 30, 30 years, extend and pretend, resecuritize, just roll it over, roll it up into a new global ultra world currency and breathe a sigh of relief that we dodged a bullet. However, it does mean that effectively U.S. must lose its sovereignty. And people in the U.S., when threatened with financial Armageddon, will gladly do this. So my prediction is that this will happen and there'll be no fight, no meaningful fight against it. And by the way, there won't even be a big discussion when I'm talking about it a year from now or whatever. The media will still be saying it didn't happen. Kind of like they celebrated 50 years of the euro in 2007, but Europeans weren't told it was official till 2000. Here's Herman von Rumpy, the Daily Mail. Nation states are dead, EU chief says. The belief that countries can stand alone is a lie and an illusion. So this is global corporate domination. Everything the New World Order has done, these private criminals, is to get us dependent, get us in debt to them, to take over society. And as I say on the back of my film, uh, Endgame, for the New World Order, world government is only the beginning because their pet project is eugenics and total tyranny, but they've got to bankrupt you to get you under government control. This is a nightmare, Max. I mean, this is well, so horrible. Eugenics, 
you know, that's a pretty strong word. But what about this this news that pills are going to be equipped with tagging devices? That's like soft eugenics. Well, uh, hard.